Hey guys, Sonny Bryce here, and welcome back to the show. And honestly, I've heard a lot of things about how in Japan, people are often a lot more skinnier, they save a lot more money, and they just have like these overall good habits, although they do have some bad ones. But in this video, we're talking about, for example, a Japanese money trick to become 35% richer, and I wanna get right into it. So as long as you guys know already, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified, and let's watch this video together, because I definitely wanna get 35% more richer, if you know what I mean. The bright side. Have you ever wanted to save money for a trip to Europe, a new car, or? I feel like everyone always has like these dreams about Europe and all this stuff. I never really had any of those dreams. Um, like as far as like travel and stuff like that, I wanted to go to Berlin. I don't even know why, because it was snowing there. Um, and I wanted like a fancy car, but kind of changed. Something big you can't afford all. I love this animation. All at once then you know how money has a magical ability to disappear overnight right after payday. But it looks like the Japanese- It really does for a lot of people, especially like when you have like a whole bunch of automation bills and all this other stuff and you're like, oh my gosh, like where did my bill come from? Or like where <laughs> or where did my money go? That happens a lot when you have um, a lot of bad money habits, honestly. Please know the secret to making it stay in your wallet longer. Okay. And even multiply there. Okay. The Kakebo method. I think you get paid. I think you, you, I think at one point <laughs> in Japan, the interest rates were actually negative. So it actually cost you a bunch of money to actually save money. Bit of budgeting is growing popular all over the world and for a good reason. Why listen Aikaibo. to the Japanese? A hundred years ago. I gotta make a video about this. Yo, Japan on the main channel. was a traditional agricultural country. Nothing like how we know it now. No robots. Mm -mm. How did it manage to become the most technology savvy country? That's interesting. Are they the most technology savvy country? With a developed economy and one of the highest living standards? Well, Japan, uh, there's, there, um, their apartments over there are pretty expensive, man. Real estate in Japan is pretty, like the thing is whenever I see Japan, I only see like the city stuff, you know? I never see like the countryside and all that other stuff. That's, I'll really be interested in looking at that uh, One of the reasons is the high financial competence of the Japanese themselves. Okay. They're experts in personal finance. They okay. use Kakebo. Kakebo. I'm going to go ahead and take my own picture, guys. Whenever I find something very interesting that I want to research, I take a picture. So this guy is about to explain it, obviously. But I don't know this guy. I want to do my own research, Which too. means they don't buy that third handbag in two months and manage to save up to 35% of their income. Okay, that's pretty good, honestly. Saving 35% is pretty good. That means you live on 65%, which is very rare. Sound good? Then yeah, be ready good. to take notes. Kakebo translates to household account book. Household it's account a notebook book. where you write down your income and expenses. A budget. Long before any financial apps or digital tables appeared, the Japanese had this system of writing up a budget. And it keeps working today. It's a simple The stuff. idea of this saving tool is to track how much you earned and spend in Look at this stuff, huh? detail. It's final the more detail the better Goal is to increase your savings and then set up automation look simple <laughs> it is no apps no technology no tricky calculations yeah that's pretty good that's the point you rule out everything that's not necessary how do you do this you got to track your daily spending to see exactly where you're putting your money in and what you need to cut out what you don't need to cut out and focus on your for a lot of people the big problem is the whole eating out thing man and buying cars that are financed and buying crazy houses those are usually like the big habits things. and decisions this is how fumiko chiba the author of the book kakebo the japanese art of budgeting saving kakebo the japanese art of budgeting and saving so that's a book huh you know i'm gonna definitely go ahead and read that book right there i love these Money videos explains the efficiency of the method kakebo appeared in 1904 that was literally like over a hundred years ago. Pretty crazy, huh? And grew popular thanks to the first woman journalist in Japan, Hani Motoko. Hani Motoro. Hani Motoko. Who sold it to a wide audience. Chiba says that even though Japan is still a traditional country. What is this animation? Like, is she reading this with her hair over her face? I don't get it. In many ways, Kakebo gave women freedom and control over financial decisions. Nice. Dozens of. I love freedom for everybody. Books, magazines, and articles devoted to Kakebo are published in the country every year. Okay. Kakebo fans know that reasonable budgeting helps you save money instead of thinking about things that. And it's not even complicated. 
it's legit a budget of your income and your expenses and just keep the rest and save it. Like, I haven't even heard anything about investing. Like, it's really that simple. You can't afford. You switch your attention to what's important and what you can. Look at that. What you what spend your money on. Look at that. So instead of focusing on what you can't afford, you focus on what you can afford and what the important things are. Quality of life, food, shelter, utilities, groceries. You know what I'm saying? Those are really like the, like the important things. Kakebo is based on four main questions. One, how much money do you have? How much money do you have? So that's Two, your income. How much would you like to save? How much would you like to save? Okay. Three. How much do you spend? How much do you spend? Four. How can you make things better? How do you make things better? It sounds like a like an analysis process. Draw up a Kakebo style budget. You'll need two notebooks, a big one and a small one. A big one and a small one. You can one. buy special Kakebo journals, but any kind will work. You use the big one to write down your income and plan expenses and savings. As for the small one, you'll be carrying it around with you to record all the... I literally made a video about this stuff where I spoke about like carry around like a little notebook or for example, just grab your notes on your phone and see exactly where you're spending your money. Expenses in real time. So you know exactly... Yeah, this is awesome. So you don't forget a single cent. That's awesome. Using the small notebook is easy. And I can't say, oh, I made this up first because this was literally made in 1904. That's why there are no original ideas at all. You just make a note every time you spend money. You can organize the big notebook as you wish, but it must reflect the following points. A monthly income plan. A monthly income plan. It can be done as a table or a bullet list. You'll need to record all the money you get as income. Advance payment, salary, debt return, money you get from selling a second-hand laptop, etc. Interesting. At the beginning of the month, you put the income you know for sure you'll get into the table. You can okay. add notes about the extra money in a different color or in block letters. This is getting like a little complicated. A monthly savings plan. You write down how much money you'd like to put in a money box or a savings account. It's important to... So you write down how much money you want to save in your savings accounts. Boom. Decide this amount before you start planning your expenses. Oh, and decide the amount you want to save before you start your expenses. Because this way you save first and then you worry about what's left over for your spending. That's interesting. A monthly expenses plan. Here, you write down your common expenses. Utility bills, apartment rent, mobile and internet bills. Yeah. The money that's left after you deduct common expenses and the sum you want to save should be divided into four categories. Okay. Expenses on living. Here you include food, household cleaning products, clothes, medicine, gas, or subway pass, etc. This is actually pretty better. good, guys. Culture and education. Courses, training, tickets to museums, and books will fall into this category. I like this. Entertainment. Having fun will... Netflix. <laughs> ...be recorded too, and this might be the black hole eating up your money. Yeah, big time. This includes meeting with friends, movies, short trips, restaurants, cosmetics, and all the clothes you don't And useless need. clothes. You might argue that a person can't survive without another lipstick and five pairs of jeans, but Kakebo is merciless. That's why it works. <laughs> they don't care. Just the bare necessities, I like it. It's very similar to um, my bare bone budget. So well. In okay, the final category is others. It's for everything else that wasn't mentioned in the last three categories. It's up to you to decide the ratio between the four categories. Budget, If expenses. you plan wisely, it won't be difficult to stay within the limits during the month. Yeah. At the end of each month, you'll analyze if you've managed to follow the plan and save or spend extra money. If you don't plan, it's just plan and fail. Gotta get a plan. It'll allow you to draw up a more exact budget for the next month and see what expenses need to be corrected. I see. So it's like a self-analysis. So most likely the first month won't be that great. Second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month will be a lot better. i just rather set this up automatically. Even if you don't have a big... Like have an account where you receive the money and then just have automatic transfers to the other accounts where you're going to use it for like um your core expenses, like, you know, shelter, utilities, grocery transportation. And then for the fund, just have a separate debit card just for the fund. So when it goes to zero, you know you're done. Big plan to save and the savings accounts obviously. much you'll see where most of the money goes for example you might spend too much on food how can you yeah kind of insane. spend less you might think about skipping lunch at a restaurant or cooking at home instead of taking out your dinner 
That's a nice kitchen. You'll be amazed at how much you can save on tips only. If a shopping spree is your favorite hobby, you'll have to face the figures when you write down everything you buy. Yeah, so I like this because it's kind of like looking in the mirror. Like you can't BS yourself because people say, I just don't know where the money goes. Well, you know now. You know now. Half of the joy goes away when you have to record your bills. Yeah, exactly. If you do think big and are already driving a new car in your dreams, here are some other tricks that'll help you save more. One, in the evening, put all the odd money that you've got in your pockets in a money box. All the odd money, so all the ones and fives. We don't really have that much odd money in New York, right? Yeah, we don't really have that many like, odd money like that. What seems like a handful of coins will turn into a solid oh, sum at the end of the month. I used to do that too, by the way. It, it adds Two, up. put all the returned debts to the money box. What does that mean? What does returned debts mean? Is that when somebody pays you back your money? In fact, it's not an income. You just get back money that was taken away from you before. Interesting. After all, you've managed to live without it all this time. Ah, uh, that is a good point. Three, when changing money, put a small amount into the money box. One to two dollars are enough. Later, they'll turn into a bigger sum. I feel like this is cool, but I, 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 I would want to be like more um, more conscious of what I'm doing and not just be like, oh, I'm going to set aside this much for saving and whatever's left over. I like, I like that I'm going to set aside this much and then the rest we figure out for expenses. Four, every time you buy something, round the sum up. Say if you have a... That's what Acorns do, the investment app. That's what they the do. The $74 bill, round it to $100 that's crazy. And put the other 26. They just do cents and pennies. This is actually a lot more hardcore. Dollars into the money box. So every time you spend, you're like, yo, we're going to run this all the way up to $100. That's crazy. It's, it's a great tool that will allow you to save daily. Five, work out a system of penalties for yourself. Oh, consequences. Consequences do hurt, man. And consequences are a very reliable way to learn sometimes, too. You can punish yourself financially for bad habits like skipping the gym or having an argument with a partner or a friend. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Each time, put a dollar in your money box. If that's not enough of motivation, <laughs> put a hundred. Put a hundred in there. You stop arguing and going to the gym every day. Let it be ten dollars. But don't be too harsh on yourself. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> Yo, I would be like Buddha. Like, no arguments ever. Never skip. Never ever. You'll benefit from this anyway. Either you'll get rich or you'll be more disciplined. Yeah, that's good. Six, divide the money you're going to spend during the month into four parts. Everything that's left from the seven-day budget will go into the money box. Nice. Two. Seven, put off any non-urgent purchases for a month. If you still want to buy it after that, then do it. This will that, that's save cool. you from impulsive shopping. That's pretty good. A lot of, a lot of us do impulse buying, including myself. Which can damage any budget. I went to Walmart the other day and I bought an Xbox, just like that. I just bought an Xbox Series X. You guys know how hard it is to get one of those. And I bring it back home. The thing doesn't even have Bluetooth or nothing like that. I'm like, this is pretty trash and the game is super expensive. I'm like, I'm returning this. I returned it. Eight. Always make a shopping list before you go to the supermarket. That is one of the best techniques ever because when you go to the supermarket, you're just searching for whatever you want. Searching, searching, and there's always going to be something you want. So yeah, having a shopping list definitely does help. This piece of advice is as old as the hills. Big facts. But who actually follows it? Kakebo. My aunt follows fans it. Fans do. And it works for them. You probably wonder why the most technologically advanced nation keeps writing things down instead of putting everything on an app. Fumiko Chiba says that Kakebo makes you focus on your financial goals better than any digital devices. Research shows that we remember something we've written down better than something typed on a keyboard. Mm -hmm. The writing I process agree. activates the part of the brain that lets the information pass directly into memory. Typing does. I didn't know that about like the brain part, but I do know that like when you write something down, it does help you remember. It doesn't more. do that. Our I didn't know the science Our hands it. work automatically. That's why motor memory is almost everlasting. So, say you want to learn Japanese or French or any other language. It's best to write down new words. If you skip that step, they'll leave your memory as quickly as you close the laptop. Interesting. Writing makes the process personal. We internalize everything we write by hand. It becomes more... Notebook, no notes. 
What about when you write like on a digital thing with like a pen? Like, does that count? It does count, right? Because it's still like writing. What about important to us? So that explains why high-tech apps might not work as well as an old-fashioned pen and notebook. Sometimes a simple, simple just works. As you see, the Japanese method of budgeting is simple and efficient. Hundreds of thousands of people around the world have become better off following the Kakebo plan. The Kakebo plan. Um, that's th that's it for this video here. Um, what do I think about it? It's pretty cool, honestly. It's not that crazy. It's not that difficult, but um, I would just simplify it. So you have four main expenses, shelter, utilities, grocery transportation, everything else is usually going to be a need. So just put money aside for the necessities. The rest of the money, you can basically just have a purpose for it, whether it's pay off your debts first, save for emergency second, or start investing and then start saving up for a home, right? So that's a lot more simple for me. So that way I'm not like, oh, I have to do this. I, I want to automate everything. That's what I love so much, you know? So if I have like a debit card, I'll send money over to that debit card. I know, yo, once this money is spent, that's all I have for like um fun. And that helps you out a lot more because it's like automation. When it's done, it's done and it's and that's it. You can't spend any more money. I like automation a lot, guys, okay? But comment down below. Let me know what you think about this Kai Kaibo, Kai Kaibo budget. Um, If you like it, comment down below let me know. And I'll probably make a video on it on the main channel because it is interesting once I do more research and I read the book myself and I kind of get more perspective on it because I don't want to make a video just based on a video I watched about a guy that maybe watched another video and didn't really do some research, you know, because you never really know, okay? So I'll see you guys tomorrow, though. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you're notified, comment down below any questions. On top of that, also DM me on Instagram, Tiny Bryson, or call me directly, link down below. And on top of that, more content here. Click my face right here. Long-term team, out.